I ain't gonna hold you. If a man ever told me I make his skin crawl, he would never see the light of day of me again. Do you hear me? But for some odd reason, Robin don't see it like that. Girl, is y'all ready to talk about it? Because this was a disgrace. Hear the music. Oh, yes, bitches and hoes. I'm back. I drive a player like it's nothing, it ain't working out Now no debate or fuck discussion, bitch, I'm walking out I'm walking My now is money, I ain't loving, let you toast it out Flip my weave and walk it out, look how I just bossed it out Now come on baby, why you bugging, we can't talk it out I keep it moving, I ain't tripping, lost another spouse I'm just the boss, it's in my blood, no, I won't scream or shout Grabbing my keys What's up y'all, it's your girl Voodoo Doll TV back with another review And this is Real Housewives of Potomac It don't matter the episode or the season All we know is is Juan Dixon hates Robert, uh, what's her last name? Dixon, Robert. Juan don't like his roommate no more. He want to cash her in for somebody else. Girl, that man said, why are you, listen, we gonna get into it, but when he said, why do you keep feeding into it? You getting emotional. Ooh, I'm getting off this phone. You make my skin crawl. Girl, do you understand the level of desperation and, and, and depression you have to be in to accept that from anybody, let alone your so-called husband? Robert, that man don't like you, fat. To be completely honest, after I seen this last episode, I believe he can't stand you. He does not like you, Robert. Robert! Hey, Robert, that man don't like you, girl. He don't like you. And I know you holding on to dear life. And I know in your mind and in your heart of hearts, you really believe that this house, somehow, some way, I'm sorry, is going to turn out for the good, but it's not. The moment he gets an independent chance to leave you, he's out of there, girl. Like a doggone hit and run. He's out of there. He don't want you, girl. And the fact that you finally get to this to start crying for us to see some emotion tells me that your one trigger is for somebody to bring up the fact that you are part of the reason Juan Dixon has had a demise in his coin and his career. That's the trigger. Y'all, see, y'all missed that era. Y'all could drag their relationship. Y'all could drag Robert for being an idiot. Y'all could drag Robert for a lot of things. But the moment you hit that little soft spot where she already insecure at, you know the one where y'all tell her basically she has something to do with him in another unfortunate, untimely demise. That's the part. See, a lot of y'all missed that. That went over y'all head. Robert has absolutely no identity outside of Juan Dixon. Robert harbors a whole bunch of regrets and a whole bunch of uh sorry for trusting that businessman slash friend and him taking all of that money. See, y'all don't know what buttons to push. See, I'd have been pushed this one, but this the one that got pushed, and now we finally get some emotion out of her. But you only get an emotion out of her because it's a uh, insecurity that Robin has. Robin probably go to sleep at night, every night, praying that she could get Juan back up to where he was and that he would forgive her. But Juan has never and never will forgive you for that. That's why when you call him to keep him up to date on what's going on, he tell you some of the most heinous things such as, you making my skin crawl? Girl. <laughs> Luther Vandross said, I'm not meant to be alone, but this house is not a home. And I told Luther, use a lie. I'm meant to be alone when a nigga telling me I make his skin crawl. Is you crazy? Girl, the house will be a home, a house, a shack, whatever I call it, a boom, boom room. It'll be everything before I have to sleep shoulder to shoulder with a nigga telling me I make his skin crawl. Girl, please. Girl, let's get into this episode because this was too much. So now the episode opens up. They on the way to play chicken shit bingo. And Robert is in the back of the car crying because uh, Candy Eyes told her, I'm not speaking on no ongoing legal issue, which is probably what you should have did. And that's probably why your man ain't got no job. See, that's the kicker right there. That's the part. That's the part right there. Y'all didn't know what buttons to push. She know her man ain't her man. She know her man for everybody. She don't care about that. You got to hit her where it hurt. And this is the gag. Kindly eyes wasn't even trying to really do that to her. But it just so happened the chips fell where they may and they fell all in the right place. You know, like on some, uh, what do you call it, on Wheel of Fortune or something. But anyway, they get inside of the doggone place and Robert is, she cannot. She she's done for, you know, kindy eyes done really hit a button that she didn't expect to get activated. And so she's done. She cannot move forward 
another moment with this whole situation. And Gizzard is over there waiting on gold because she ready to ice Candace out anyway. So now Robert get the crying. Mia and Gizzard is consoling her. Oh, Robert, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Robert is over there saying, I can't believe she said that. I, I just don't understand because I am not the person and the reason why Juan doesn't have a job. And for her to say that, and I'm saying, yay, uh huh. You the reason, bitch. We'll never know, but I feel like it was, bitch. If you'd have got your ass on TV and when they asked you, told him no comment, bitch, he might still have a job. But you carried your little lighty, brighty ass up there talking too much. And now look where he at, at home with you, bitch. Now, this the part that killed me. Candace started crying. Candace, what is you crying for? Somebody explain to me why Condi eyes had to fold her tissue into a triangle and start crying. Girl, what are we doing? Remember I told y'all the dark-skinned girls always run behind the light-skinned women? Y'all be thinking I'm tripping. I am not tripping. Why is you crying, Candace? Now, Candace said she crying because she crying and she feel bad. Girl, what are we doing here? Let that whole go sniffle and sniff. All the way out the door. I would have been sitting there sipping my martini or whatever, my margarita or my Patron on the rocks, girl. Looking like, girl, you good? You need me to fold you up a napkin? But no, that's what they do. They run behind these girls. And I feel like Robert is using this opportunity to basically have another reason to ice candy ass out. Now, Gizzard over there saying, you're not a friend. Don't cry because you're a friend because a friend would never do this to her. Do what? Tell her the truth? Because that's what you ain't did. Gizzard, Gizzard, Gizzard. Take one of your necks and, and, and hit it with the other one and close it shut, bitch. You don't tell her the truth. Why? What's wrong with Candy Eyes telling her, bitch, you might have fucked up? Because she probably did. Now, Condi Ass is over there saying, I can't believe that these, this is happening to her. And I just sympathize and empathize so much with her. Candy Ass, girl, what? What? Now, as this happening, they taking Robert outside. And I'm saying, bitch, you should be on the floor to Juvenile Holland. Cash Money Records taking over for the 99 and the 2000, waiting on and betting on your chicken shit. What are we doing? But kind of eyes, that's what y'all do. And I don't care what Wendy, y'all know I'm not a fan. I don't care what Wendy in the field say, bitch. It's just, it's, it's capping. It's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Now, Necker feels like, oh, uh, Condi Eyes can't make her own decisions or something like that. Girl, um, what's her name? Uh, Karen over there trying to hold her breath because she says she allergic to chicken. And I'm saying, Karen, go lay down, grind down. I know you done carried your ass down to somebody KFC. TMZ, get on it. Get Karen at the KFC so we can get this whole chicken thing over with, girl. And Karen, go lay down. Let's move on. So now Mia follows Robert outside and she sits on the curb like that little clear boy from the Wonder Years or something. And I'm sitting here saying, first of all, Mia, where is you going? And then second of all, you trying to go over there to check on her. Let that whole Samba in peace. Do you hear me? Look at her looking stupid. Let her sit there. Anyway, inside, uh, Ashley's clear side is really prevailing. She's over there petting chickens and all of that. And I'm saying, ain't this how the swine flu came about, girl? This is, this was such a clear activity. This is why I wouldn't have Ashley in charge of nothing, bitch. You not even in charge of making the drinks at this point. You get you your little corona and go sit your ass in the corner, you know? But anyway, Giza goes outside to ask Mia how she doing. And Mia said, I don't know that whole sitting on the corner like uh, Smokey from Friday when he had that bad marriage of winner. And he was over there clucking in the chicken coop or something like that. She said, so I don't know, girl. I just know she said she hurt. Uh, she can't believe that Condi eyes would bring this up. Now, on the inside, Condi eyes is trying to explain to Wendy why she crying. Because she's saying, you don't understand. If she hurts, I hurt. We did have a level of friendship. And I'm saying, bitch. When? When, Candace? When? 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 That girl was never your friend. And now it's your turn. They're trying to ice you out. That's why you cry. You know it's your time. Now, at the table, Karen is trying to get make heads or tails of this. And Wendy is over there trying to explain the whole situation. And I'm saying, Wendy, you go sit your ass down. Why are you just over there with Ashley talking about y'all want to start over? Y'all hoes is redundantly stupid. What are we doing? Y'all know. And I don't care how many degrees she got. You is over here trying to console her about running behind Robert, but you over there running behind Ashley? Girl, 
Anywho, Ashley, take that goddamn tissue from your face and fix your face, bitch, before I get Miss Uh, what's her mama name? Whatever your mama name is, before I get her up here. Girl, stop it. Stop it. There's no reason for you to cry. You doing the most. I'm with Mia now. Like, bitch, what is you crying for? I'm with Mia. Girl, this is ridiculous. This show is trash. They need to throw the whole production team and the people away, okay? Now, NECA got in her confessional to tell us, like I said earlier, that Wendy don't let uh, that girl make her own decisions. Talking about kindy eyes. And I'm saying, NECA, shut your ass up. Because until you start talking that shit at the table, we don't want to hear what you're saying in the confessional. Better yet, why we ain't heard or seen nothing about you and your family? You say you're rich, bitch. We ain't seen nothing but you and your husband fighting, trying to have a baby. Get off of here. So now, outside, kindy eyes is still trying to plead her case. For what, Lord? Jesus, Jesus, be a, a, a question mark. For what? She's trying to talk to them and tell them how, you know, she had an ongoing legal case. And that's the reason why she said that. Because, you know, we never know if Robert really did affect him having a job or not. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, I think she could have possibly, but ultimately what, if what I read is true, he was on his way out the door anyway, y'all. It really was. That's just what it was. And the fact that we congregating about this, I'm sitting here saying, why? Shouldn't y'all be inside with NECA and, uh, and Ashley playing chicken shit bingo? Why is y'all out here congregating about this shit? Why? And if this heifer put another triangle to her eye, I'm going to make it a sharp one and poker in one of them. Girl, get girl Candace that's why I never liked it you Candace you too dramatic you too dramatic you you read and then you get lethal with it and then when somebody pop you upside the head you either do this you get the crying or when you you read and somebody feels get hurt you get the crying stop crying and all that ugly ass shit now on the flip side Mia is telling um Ashley and them they leaving Mia was like you know we want to get Robert back to the hotel she's so flustered and frustrated and we don't know what she's gonna do so let us just go take a couple of breathers and we'll go back girl nobody ain't gonna be in no goddamn chicken shit bingo anyway Ashley I wouldn't girl when we'd have pulled up and seen that hole in the wall Ashley bitch I'd have kicked you out the car and told the driver pull off girl get him off of here now they in the car and I'm with Mia. Mia trying to understand why in the hell was Condi eyes performing the way she was performing, what she was crying for. And they did a little side by side in the confessional of Mia talking about how Condi eyes was crying. And Mia, you're right. You're right. I'm still trying to figure out what she was crying for. I'm still. And today, Tuesday. I'm still trying to figure out what happened Sunday and why she was crying. Girl, Candace is an actress. Instead of going on tour with that song, uh, what's the, whatever that, 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 that jingle shit she got going on, she needs to be going to try to see if she can get on a cast of the color purple or something. Because, girl, you was an actor. Okay? Actress, whatever you want to call it. Get off of here. So now it's the Grand Dimes Triple Twenties. That's her 60th. And Gizza goes up there to give her some gifts. She gave her some wine, some M&Ms, and something else or whatever. But I think that it's cool that they back on some sort of a good foot. You know, the Grand Dime keeps her at bay. But anyway, uh, Gizza tells uh, the Grand Dime, she said, girl, look, um, yeah, I know you want to make sure everybody get along and all of that, but ultimately, um, I'm done with Candace. She's dead to me after what she did at that reunion, calling me my light, privileged, white looking ass. She said it's over because I've been getting unaliving threats and I got to protect my family. Now, first of all, I call cap on the unaliving threats. I just do. But secondly, I'm not going to hold y'all. When Condi eyes told that to that girl and they had just beginning or just finished talking about uh, colorism, I said in my mind that was wrong. Black women, it is no different from us feeling like the uh, some people in certain parts of the community attack us even though we all have a black struggle. That was wrong for her to do that. Now, is it worth this? No. But you, we all know Gizzard. Gizzard is not a reader. Gizzard is going to basically... Catch you back with your job. We seen her do it to Monique. We seen her do it to a couple of other people. That's just the way it works. And that's just what it is. And unfortunately, she's probably going to be able to ice her out. Unless Karen keeps filming with her, which I believe that she will. But Karen said, I'm so glad you told me this, girl. I didn't know. I had no idea. But moving forward, I won't try to force it no more. Uh, I'm I'm sorry that you're getting them, them threats. She said, me and you both got brown-skinned daughters. And y'all do. But ultimately, you still don't understand the struggle. But I get where they coming from. Like, they really weren't trying to be malicious or colorist. But honestly, Gizzard, I don't... Karen, I don't think you will or you are. But Gizzard, the, the, the jury is out on you, bitch. Let's move on.
So now Mia FaceTimes Gordon and Gordon is telling her about this doggone lawsuit he got against his siblings because he said they owe him at least a half a million dollars. Mia don't agree with the lawsuit. Mia knows something that we don't know. But she's saying that he's really just trying to move forward with it. But Mia says she don't agree with it. And I believe, Mia, you don't agree with it because you know your husband was probably around there stealing and snickling and giggling and both of y'all was doing it together. That's all I could believe. And also, Mia, you ain't with that man. You wasn't with him when y'all started filming. Get off here. Now it's kayaking time. See what I mean when I say clear activities? I'm not saying black people don't be in the water. I am an advent swimmer. Anybody who knows me know. However, kayaking, bitch, we trying to be cute and go sit down and have um brunch or something, girl. Get us a little mimosa or something. What is you doing? Now the grand dame says she not getting in. She said, cause baby, I didn't make it all the way to 60 to get taken out by a kayak or whatever the case. So I'm with the uh grand dame. Now candy eyes, not candy eyes. Ashley feels like the grand dame is so fit and feminine and all of that. She would think she would be up for it. Girl, Ashley, you could tell you and Michael went on a lot of vacations, girl. The black women don't want to do this, fat. And it ain't got nothing to do with our hell. We just don't want to be on vacation on no goddamn kayak in the middle of a river where they got snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Ashley, go lay down. Now, as the girls go off, Condi Eyes goes over to Karen to plead her case. And let me be honest, Condi Eyes is doing the right thing. See, this is what Miss Kwa should have did over there at Merit to Medicine. Instead of saying, screw all the girls and, per and tooting your nose up at them, I'm sorry, you should have went tried to find you an ally. And that's what Condi Eyes is doing because she see the plate. And she's over there telling Karen, you know, I really didn't mean it like that. It was just on some, you know, I didn't want to speak on an ongoing issue. And Robert is very sensitive and da 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 And, um... Karen was like, I understand what you mean. Now, Karen didn't tell her that Robert said, bitch, you is D-E-A-D -E to me. She didn't tell her that part, but she said, you know, moving forward, just try to choose your little words a little wiser or something like that. And I'm saying, girl, Karen, try to save her as much as you want. But if they got NECA, NECA on the side with the other girls, it's going to be tough because Wendy don't have enough storyline to carry with her. And you're the only other one. And you ain't got no storyline this, at this point, to be completely honest. So y'all might want to make this amends and figure this part out because this to be crazy now the girls get the kayak and i think they got some liquor out there or something i don't know and i say it sounds like a good time to me now i know they say don't drink and drive and don't drink and kayak and all of that so i am not promoting that but if somebody would have had a flask or a little wine or something i ain't gonna lie i would have took a little swig i'm not telling y'all to do it don't do that that is dangerous i'm just telling you what i would have did anyway to be completely honest in this scene i don't know what's going on I really don't. I don't remember. The show is not memorable. Um, Maybe Karen is over there telling NECA. Is that NECA? Yeah, that's NECA. Maybe she over there telling NECA, you know, girl, watch your back. I don't know. I don't remember. It was not um memorable, to be honest. The whole show isn't memorable. So, yeah, let's just leave it there. Let's move on to the good scene, the final scene. Robert calls her roommate Juan Dixon to tell him what they said. And it was that this part I knew. Juan Dixon don't give a good God googly moogly damn what they said. Now, Robert gets on the phone and was like, hey, Juan, I just wanted to kind of get you up to date on what's been going on with the girls. The girls are over there basically saying that I had something to do with you losing your job. And that's not true. And it, I just want to clear that up. And Juan Dixon said, Robert, why is you calling me? I'm with my bitch. What the, what do you want? What do you want? And she was like, but Juan, I'm just trying to show you that I really love you. And he was like, but I don't love you. I don't love you. You keep getting into it with these girls and y'all discussing me and you giving it energy. Let me be with my woman in peace. Stop calling me. And she was saying, but Juan, no, Juan, I really, really need you, Juan. Please don't hang up on me. I'm at my most vulnerable. And Juan said, bitch, fuck you and vulnerable, girl. I don't care about you. You just trying to keep bringing me down. Now, bad enough you done had them folk take my money now they done took my job bitch i hate you forever and she was saying why no why no please why no i'm melting i'm melting you know how when they threw the water on the uh, wicked witch of the west that's how she was talking or whatever and why i was saying you get on my nerves i can't stand you as a matter of fact Hearing your voice just makes my skin crawl. How am I supposed to go have relations with my bitch after you done call me on some fuck shit like this? Get off my line. And he hung up. And that hoe got the crying. And I said, oh, Robert. Robert. How you let that nigga play in your top like that and you paying the bills? Bitch, when I tell you ain't no way a nigga that stand under my roof 
drinking my water, eating my food, flicking on my lights, gonna be talking to me like that, bitch? Girl, please. But Robert is so desperate. She'll do anything for her man. My man, my man, my man. Bitch, your man left you for dead. Mm-hmm, sure did. Literally. Girl, Robert, you know, finally we got something out of you. It, to me, it ain't enough. We need more. But I'll take this for now, Robert. I hope they drag you down to the ground at the reunion. We all know Juan Dixon won't be there because he's never there. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. Finally, you got your karma. You was an evil little green-eyed heifer, and this is how it works. What goes around comes back around. That's why the world is round like a circle, bitch. Anyways, what y'all think about this, girl? Is one Juan, do y'all think Juan love Robert? I don't. Drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on all platforms, boo-boo. And I'll see y'all hoes later. Bye. Mr. Carroll. How you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.